GFTV.net, welcome to another video on our tutorial. And in this tutorial, I will be teaching you how to make a graffiti effect look like it's on a wall. Now, I've gotten lots and lots of requests for this, so here it is. Uh, I just got The Sims 3, and now I have the music stuck in my head. Not quite Elevator, but definitely not the liveliest music you will ever hear. Anyway, that aside, uh, let's get into the tutorial. So the first thing we need to do is open up our background brick wall. So go File, Open, and, open, and uh, open up your background brick wall. Uh, once that's open, we need to put the text in. Uh, so for my text, I'm going to be using a graffiti font uh, called Writer's Original. And I'm going to make every piece of text on a different layer so I have the freedom to resize and move them. Now let's make an outline for that. And uh, for this one, I'm going to continue the line of the P down and kind of curve it into an outline. Uh, so to do that, I'm going to zoom in about like that. And then take the Paths tool, uh, which is right here, and make a start of a path here and a start of a path here. And then kind of curve it down so you have um, kind of like a curve uh, from the P. So that looks about good. And then I'm going to zoom out a little bit more. And uh, just take the path and from the top and the bottom make make the lines kind of go like this, uh, and then use these squares to fine tune the line. Oops, to fine tune the lines. Once you're done, just cap off the lines, and you can link the paths by holding control and then clicking on another node. Once you're done, press enter, and that'll make a selection from the path. Then make a new layer, and color that selection in with black, then click select none. And that gives us a nice looking out, uh, underline for the text. You can adjust the underline to your specifications as well. In fact, I think this one may be a bit low. I'll just raise it up a little bit. There we go. Uh, now once you're done, we need to merge these layers. So uncheck the bottom layer, and then click Image, Merge Visible Layers, then click Merge. And uh, let's move this in the center here. Next thing we need to do is uh, kind of give it an outline of pink. So right click on the layer, click alpha to selection, make a new layer, move that layer underneath that layer, then click select, grow, and grow it by 20 pixels. Uh, now take your gradient tool or blend tool and select a light pink gradient, uh, light pink color as your foreground and a darker pink as your background and stroke down just like this. Once that's done, click select none and that was on a new layer. And uh, now we're going to do some layer effects. Uh, so we're going to go uh, script foo, layer effects, and then uh, bevel and emboss. And I'll, don't worry, I'll have the links to the uh, script foo that you need to download in the description. Uh, so for your first color, select a lighter pink. And the shadow color, select a darker pink. And then uh, tone the depth up to around 7, and then click OK. You can leave everything else the same. And that gives us a kind of extruded 3D look. And uh, now the next thing we're going to do is right-click on these layers, and then click Apply Layer Mask on both of them. And then merge all of these layers down by right-clicking again, and merge them down into one pink layer. The next thing we need to do is create a green effect inside the pink. So uh, alpha to selection the black layer by cl right clicking clicking alpha to selection. Then click select grow, except this time only grow it by around 05. Uh, now make a new layer underneath the black layer. And then uh, take a lighter green and a darker green or a normal green and then stroke down. Then click select none and do the same effects you did to the pink. So go script foo layer effects, bevel and emboss, except change the highlight color to a lighter green 
and the shadow color to a darker green. Once you're done, we're going to merge the layers down just like we did before. And once they're merged down, I do believe we can merge this down. So once you have uh, two clean layers, one of your text and uh, one of the uh, effects we did um, after it, uh, we're going to alpha to selection the text, then take your gradient tool and select a darker gray to a lighter gray. That's exciting. Anyway, stroke a gradient up like this. Trust me, you'll need it. And uh, then we can go ahead and merge those down. And then, uh, whoops, no, we can't merge those down yet. And then uh, go filters, map, bump map. And on the bump map, select the bricks and leave all the settings as there. Click OK. And bump map that three times. I probably could just change it by adjusting the depth or something, but I never really experimented with that, and frankly, I don't care. Uh, so click colors, and then brightness and contrast once you've done that, and then tone the brightness way down. Now you may be wondering, and the contrast up just a little bit. Now you may be wondering why we didn't just uh, bump map the black, and that is because nothing would have appeared if we bump map the black. So the best way to do it is to make gray and then adjust the colors and brightness and contrast. Trust me on this one. And then do the same thing, except do, don't lower the brightness, of course, to uh, this layer right here. So once that's been bump mapped enough, uh, the next thing we're going to do is add some, an effect that may look like it's spray painted. So the next thing we need to do is alpha to selection the black text layer again. And then on the, uh, this layer with the green, click edit, cut, then select none. Uh, now on this pinkish green layer, uh, we're going to duplicate it. And then go filters, edge detect, neon. Whoops. Filters, edge detect, Neon. And once you have the neon edge detect, uh, set the layer mode on darken only. And then maybe tone the opacity down just a little bit. Move that above the layer and tone the opacity down just a little bit. And that gives it a more spray painted look. Now the next thing, the only thing left we have to do is add some splatters. Uh, so make a new layer. Uh, take your paintbrush tool, select the pinkish color we did before, and you're going to need a set of brushes called Blood Working or, or Splatter Working ABR, uh, dot ABR. They are Photoshop brushes. I'll have the link in the description. And make a layer below the pink layer and add splatter brushes to your heart's content. Uh, take care not to use the same splatter brush twice. That kind of ruins the illusion. Okay, I think I have enough splatter brushes. And on your splatter brush layer, we're going to need to bump map them. to the brick layer as well. Uh, once you're done, we can merge down. Oops, no we can't. Uh, merge these two down. And then uh, once they're merged down, tone the opacity down just a touch at around 90.9. And there you are, YouTube. That is how to make your very own graffiti effect look like it's on a wall. Um, if you have any questions, leave a comment, uh, subscribe, rate, comment, etc. So thanks for watching this tutorial.